Hi, I'm Sharonda Williams, and I'm here to tell you about the Prime Video original series Harlem and help you meet the characters. Harlem follows a group of stylish and ambitious best girlfriends in Harlem, New York City, the mecca of black culture in America. The four main characters first meet in college and together, they level up from their 20s into the next phase of their careers, relationships, and big city dreams. Quinn is optimistic, creative, and an old school romantic. Quinn is a talented fashion designer and trust fund kid who lives with a life paid primarily by her parents and works through her guilt about her privilege by giving to many charities, including her bestie Angie. Quinn is on a journey to find her place in the world, but most importantly, the perfect partner to live happily ever after with. Quinn, what a casually dressed surprise. Angela? Hey, Miss Faye. Daddy said it would be just us. Oh, he's still stuck at the office. He didn't tell you that we're hosting a fundraiser. No, I definitely would have remembered that. Quinn. Oh my God, is that Damien? That is definitely Damien. He looks so good. Oh, really he messed up. Good to see you. You too. Oh, that's right, you two know each other. Only from the entire year that we dated, Mom. We'll say hello to his wife, Tina. Oh, nice to meet the both of you. <laughs> Camilla's stylish, quirky, smart, but a bit of an overthinker. Camilla is a popular professor of the Anthropology of Sex and Love class at Columbia University. However, in the category of those who can't teach, despite her extensive knowledge of the dating and mating norms of many cultures, in her own life she has a hard time navigating her choices. She is a ride or die to her tight circle of three best friends. Camille, what are you doing here? It's late. You have to pretty at night. Thank you. I feel like you've had a couple of cocktails. I had a couple of dozen cocktails. And you know what? That won't change the fact that I am done trying to prove that I am worthy because I know that I am. And you know what? You know what else? I know that I should do my research in journals and all the whatever and stuff, but I am really proud of my social media presence. And also, do you want to know why my classes are always waitlisted? Why the number of black students majoring in anthropology has increased in the last few years? Because not only can they see me, but they can access me, which lets them know that they can be me. So whether you like it or not, social media is here to stay, okay? And uh, I'm not. I quit. I'm out of here. Ty is a smart, alpha, fierce and queer successful app developer who avoids the messiness of life by trying to stay in control at all times. She prefers to keep vulnerability and feelings at arm's length and that means dating women who are not always her intellectual equal. She is always there for her friends but sometimes needs to spend more time taking care of herself. I said, wow, $750,000, Mr. Van Horn. Please, Ty, it's Rick. Okay, great. Rick? That is a lot of money. So, what do you think? You ready to sell Q and take your seat at the big kid's table, Ty? What do I think? I think only a f idiot would agree to that kind of valuation. And of the two of us, I'd say I'm not the one who looks like a f idiot. Nice suit, by the way. Give 1987 my regards. Q is the only online dating app worth the shit that's reaching the fastest growing market there is. Queer people of color. So do I want to join your seat at the big kids table? I'm a grown ass woman. And I'm of two minds. No. And fucking hell no. But thanks for dropping by, Rick. You sure you want to, I mean, surely you can weigh in here. My assistant? You are my assistant to weigh in on my decision. Oh, he's your, really? Yeah, really. Oh, and by the way, Rick, the name isn't Ty. It's your Heine. <laughs> Angie is a sometimes loud, smart, filter-free partygoer who never met an impulse she didn't follow. 
She's an aspiring singer who has been Quinn's totally temporary and rent-free roommate for the last four years. Angie is determined to live life to the fullest and along the way satisfy any of her sexual desires. She is the life of the party and down to make anyone in her presence laugh. Listen, Jennifer, you tell Stephen that Angie Wilson has listened to Power 105 for six f***ing hours and did not hear her soaring, yet highly controlled vocal runs of flow into you gracing the airwaves. And since he seems to love me in so much, Maybe I should just roll up on your office this afternoon and have an impromptu face to face to discuss his priorities. Bye. I'm all the way up. Hey, all the way up. All the way up. Nothing can stop. I'm all the way up. All the way up. Oh, hello. All the way up. Some of us live Nothing here. Can stop me. I'm all the way up. Ian is Camille's ex boyfriend and an aspiring chef. Once the love of Camille's life, the couple broke up after Camille had a change of heart about moving to Paris. Camille ultimately chose her own career instead of sacrificing hers for his. Ian is now back in town and moved on to a new relationship, but as the season unfolds, we find out that there may be chemistry left between the two. Jameson is funny, smart, and knows what he wants. He's an unexpected love interest for Camille, who he meets after a passionate debate. Their relationship blossoms, leaving Camille to believe that maybe she can move on from her past flame. Don't forget, Season 1 of Harlem is now streaming on Prime Video, with Season 2 premiering February 3rd on Prime Video. Mm -hmm.